Laying on the floor with your hands at your chest, raise your legs up in a pike. Point your toes lightly and trace one foot down the other leg while lowering that leg. Imagine you're taking your knee-high socks off and putting them back on with your toes. Before you touch the ground, lift your leg back up, tracing your foot back up the leg, and repeat on the other side. This exercise helps engage the core, glutes, and promotes stability. Don't rush and keep your muscles engaged the whole time. Repeat this motion for one minute. In this next exercise, we're going to simply point and unpoint our toes through each phase. Laying on the floor with your hands on your chest, raise your legs in a pike. Flex your feet. Push through the ball of your foot with the toes still up. This is called a dimmy point. Point your toes. Flex the feet, keeping the toes where they were. They'll curl here. Flex the toes. Repeat. Flex. Dimmy. Point. Flex. Point. Dimmy point. Flex point. Dimmy point. Flex point. Dimmy point. For ankle circles, we're going to start out the same way. Lay on the floor with your hands on your chest and raise your legs in a pike. Flex your feet. Circle your feet outwards. Repeat this until you fatigue. This helps promote ankle and lower calf stability. Now, circle your feet inwards. Repeat this until you fatigue. Try to keep your legs straight the entire time. If you have tight hamstrings, you might have microbends, and that's okay. Just remember to actively engage the legs in a pike. For this exercise, you'll need a light resistance band. Stretch the middle of the band around the toes and ball of the foot. Extend your leg and point your toes. Flex, dimmy, point. Extend your toes as long as possible, keeping them long instead of curling them up. Repeat this 20 times, then repeat on the other foot. In this exercise, we'll be adding pressure to our toe point. If you have any pain at all in your ankle or foot normally, skip this exercise. From a seated position with your knees tucked underneath you, bring your foot forward, toes curled under. You can use the floor to brace yourself here. Keep your ankles straight, don't cave them in or out. Your seat should not be putting any pressure on the ankle that is up. Keep space between the ankle that is up and balance your weight on the other leg. Hold this position for 30 seconds, then flip the toes up. Keep your ankle straight as if you are pointing your foot. Stay here for about 30 seconds. And you can also do this standing if you prefer. In this exercise, we're going to need a coin or some other flat, small object to place on the floor. Place the ball of your foot on the coin. While keeping your entire foot on the floor, try to push the coin back with the ball of your foot towards your heel. It doesn't look like much, but it can be very challenging. Repeat this 10 to 15 times per foot. This exercise is pretty straightforward. While standing, we're going to point our toes, which usually means we're going to stand on the balls of our feet. We're going to take it a step further and with all of our toe strength, lift yourself up with your toes. Then back down. Do this 10 to 15 times with both feet simultaneously. Next, we're going to need a block or other raised platform for calf raises. This will help strengthen your calves and ankles. Step on the block with your toes and ball of the foot. Your heel should be hanging off the edge. Alternatively, if this is too much, you can also just do these standing. Sink your ankles down off the edge, then raise them up so that you are standing on the balls of your feet. Lower your heels back down past the edge of your block and repeat. Do this 20 to 30 times. For other pole dancing tips, guides, tutorials, and much more, visit polepedia.com.